The time now, 5 o'clock, God, this Saturday evening, June 28th, 2014, a Saturday evening, time now, follow, what up in Jay Street, PJ Wiggins, the evening report. Saturday evening, June 28th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our current is at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts. 84 degrees on temperature with a humidity of 40%. With speed, south of about 6 miles per barometer, 3.24 inches, dew point. 57 degrees of visibility, 10 miles. Need the index, 83 degrees. All right, let's take a look at our radar scope, and it shows. Couple Spotty rain showers for Michigan and West. Some spotty rain showers for the Buffalo area. As we'll zoom on the Buffalo here and we are showing some spotty rain showers around the Buffalo area and around the Doyle, Winchester, and Lackawanna, and near West Seneca, and some steady light rain around Getzville, Williamsville, and stretching it in the Harris Hill and Clint Center and Clarence around Grinnan and Deer. And we'll zoom out and show some spotty showers and storms from Michigan, stretching that food. Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, that food. Kentucky, Tennessee, that food. The Western Carolinas, that food. Georgia, that food. Florida, and stretching that food. Southern. Alabama, the Mississippi, Arkansas, the Louisiana, that food. Eastern Texas, and the spotty showers and storms from the Carolinas. And there's a lot of. Showers and storms from Northeastern Oklahoma, stretching in eastern Kansas, western Missouri, central Iowa, down to Minnesota, and up to Manitoba, and a span of heavy showers and storms from southern Manitoba, including Winnipeg, stretching out Saskatchewan, down to Dakota, down to North Central Nebraska. And we're seeing a lot of heavy rain around North Dakota here. And which means some flooded possible. And we're seeing some popcorn clusters of showers and few storms for North Wyoming and Duff, Montana, Northeast, and Idaho. And an upper batch of rain showers in the western Washington and Oregon, and stretching it up in the British Columbia, and for Alberta, and for western Saskatchewan. Well, in Texas, good evening. 89 degrees with overcast skies here. Can you reply to about this without Suarez? Let's take a look at our satellite loop. Here shows capital by clouds. Covered in coastal New England, up there, the main, and up there, the new, and Quebec. And batches of clouds covered in Michigan, down for India, Ohio, stretch in Kentucky, Tennessee, down for Western Carolina, and down for Georgia. And a batch of clouds covered in the coastal Carolina, and stretch it down for down for Florida. And a batch of clouds covered from this. Mississippi, Louisiana, now for Eastern Texas, and a lot of clouds from Northern Texas, and stretching it out through the Mississippi Valley, and stretching it out through the Dakotas, and stretching it out through Wyoming, and Montana, and Northern Idaho, and out through Western Washington, and stretching British Columbia, stretching it out through Manitoba, stretching out through Ontario, and out through Northern Quebec. Here. Alright, let's take a look at our map situation here. And we got a state street front from Arizona to Mexico. And after that, a cold front from New Mexico. Search it out. Don't come search it. Up for the plane. Say it's up in the corners up in Manitoba. And a warm front from Manitoba. Search it all the way down to Ontario. And after that, state street front from Ontario. Search it out for the Midwest. And after the Kentucky, Tennessee. Search it out for Georgia. Search it out to see. And a far away from Western Texas and North Central Mexico, and a far away from Western Bahamas, Mexico. Far away from Central California, and a far away from Central Idaho, and up to about 10 and a half for Central Alberta. And we get some high pressure off the New Jersey, off the Western Florida coastline, and North Central Mexico, and Western Western Canada, and Western Canada, and Western 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 Western Canada, Chicago 85, 83 in Minneapolis, 80 in Salt Lake City, Denver, it's 90 out in Albuquerque, 75 in Los Angeles, 70 in Seattle, 63 in Seattle, 70 in San Francisco, and 67 out in Great Falls, Montana. Air. Current conditions, man, the region. We got 78 degrees on temperature in Boston, it's 85 in Fitchburg, 84 in Bedford, 86 in Lawrence, 77 in Lynn, 80 in Gloucester, it's 80 in Worcester, got a pair of 86 is in Sturbridge and Webster, 85 in Albany, Thompson, 78 in New Bedford, 77 in Plymouth and Parmistown, 75 in Felmouth and Chatham, 78 in Marfa Vineyard, 69 in Nantuck, and 65 in Cape Cod Bay, 72 in Lockout, 74 in Westerly, it's 75 out in Providence, 81 in Smithfield, and it's 83 in 
Springfield, 88 at Amherst. 86 at Greenfield, 80 at Pittsfield. 82 at North Amherst, 85 at Albany, New York. It's 81 at Bainton, Vermont, 85 at Randleboro, Vermont. It's 82 at Keene, 81 out in. Jaffe and Hampshire, 84 at Cockney, Hampshire, 87 at Manchester, Hampshire, 85 at New Nashville, Hampshire, 95 at Pottsmouth, 6 at Adden. New Hampshire Bay, 87 at Windsor Locks, 86 at Hartford, 82 at Burden, 84 at Waterbury, 73. 81 at Danbury, 77 at Bridgeport, 79 at New Haven, 73 at Long Island Town, and it's 80 at New York City, 77 at Slipin, 74 at Montauk. Okay, let us take a look at our public discussion around the country. A rather intense storm for early summer is available over North Dakota with heavy rain. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will affect the Mississippi Valley, Midwest and Tennessee Valley, Gulf Coast, and so And the United States with a few locales possibly getting severe weather or flash flooded. A large change is expected to sweep cooler air across the Northern Rockies and the Northern Plains into the start of the next week. A weak low off the southeast coast and a low to medium probably will become a tropical cycle in the next 48 hours. Our deep low pressure system is bringing heavy rain and gusty winds to North Dakota and expected to drift northward in the south of Manitoba overnight. Flood water is very possible across western North Dakota with a possibility of flash water across eastern North Dakota. Skies should clear on Sunday, but breezy conditions will continue. A larger scattered showers and thunderstorms will be found out in the head of the affected cold front events that are associated with a DVD low, but will also occur across much of Mississippi Valley, Midwest, and Appalachians and South Carolina states that some have been. Locally showers across parts of the Mississippi Valley, along with us, weak stationary boundary near the southern Appalachians. Some severe thunderstorms are possible out of hand of a cold front over the upper Mississippi Valley and southward into the eastern central plains of the Mississippi Valley. By Monday, a sharp cold front will be moving across the Rockies eastward as well as the central plains of the upper Mississippi Valley. Quite cool weather expected beyond the front that is likely to continue moving eastward during the first part of the next week with summer heat only in bodies of vent. Across the southeast and across the desert southwest, high pressure just off the northeast coast will continue to bring warm and dry weather across the northeast, but easterly flow will cause showers across parts of the Carolinas along the slopes of the Appalachians farther south. Low pressure has developed well off the South Carolina coast and three er, is some potential for a over the next several days, but the latest information going to the National Hurricane Center for the latest information. Alright, let's take a look at our forecast discussion in New England there. And it shows high pressure will bring dry, beautiful weather this weekend with coming to a higher humidity levels. The high that moves off to the coast and all offer increasing humidity front. The middle of the next week, the best chance for the shots and tussles will be late Wednesday and especially Thursday as the cold front works into the region. There will be uncertainty as to how quickly the effect exits from the region on Friday, July 4th. Near term until 6 a.m. Sunday morning until the 2 p.m. update. Only minor tweaks in the per year is forecast needed this afternoon. Sea breeze has already set it up and should only get stronger as the temperatures will continue to rise. If the night except it off a mainly clear pleasant night, more good racial cooling in the place with a light variable calm wind. The trick will be the effect as a high level cloud as they Wafted across some of New England and Petra Fog will be developed, especially the usual river valley location. Lows will be generally in the 50s but may hold in the lower 60s in the urban centers that are along the immediate coast. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on in traffic. See here, North Atlantic, tropical, a broad low pressure area located within 120 miles southeast of the coast of South Carolina. As Continue to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms as environment conditions are expected to rate conductive for gradual development of the system wall. It drifts southward off of Georgia and northeast of Florida during the next few days. Formation chance for 48 hours, medium 40%, and formation chance for 5 days, high 60%. Uh, <laughs> And now we got a new tropical depression. For E, maximum same with 35 miles per minimum central pressure. 1,006 millibars located 14.5 north and 105 way in the west. So moving to be west northwest about 10 knots, 12 miles. And so it will stay. It will be gradually increased into a tropical storm and then stay off the coast. And a 30% chance of a. A small area is 
Low pressure is located several hundred miles up, seven hundred couple T. White Tepec is produced until so I shines the sun. Some development of the storm is puzzled the next few days while it moves west, northwest, or northwest with a 10 to 50 miles per hour. Formation chance for four hours, medium 30 percent, and formation chance for five days, medium 30 percent. And satellite images indicate that Charles and Thunderstorm is switched with low pressure air set about 350 miles south, southwest of Menzillo. Mexico is becoming better organized as environmental conditions very conductive for further development of tropical pressure could later form today and tonight, which it did while well, the system moves west north west around 10 miles per hour. Formation chance for 48 hours, height 9% of formation chance for 5 days, height 90%. Okay, let's go out on the deck. <coughs> Let's take a view outside here, and it shows a be another beautiful day of tap and a beautiful evening of tap for tonight, and another glorious Sunday of tap for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. So it goes like this: for tonight, we are gonna see some. Most of the coast got lower 57 degrees. Southeast with about 5 miles per cup of carbon in ED. Sunday, South Carolina had 85 degrees. Light stuff. West wind will be coming south about 5 to 10 miles per hour in the morning. 10 to 9. Patrick after 5 a.m. on Mars. Most of the coast got lower 60 degrees. South with about 3 to 7 miles per hour. For Monday, most of the South Carolina had 86 degrees. Southwest with about 6 to 11 miles per hour. Monday night, Park Coast Guard load 66 degrees. Southwest would about 7 to 9 miles per hour. Tuesday, Park Coast Guard had 86 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the Guard load 71 degrees. Wednesday, Chester Shards and Thunderstorms, Park Coast Guard had 88 degrees. Chester Preservation is 20%. Wednesday night, Chester Shards and Thunderstorms, Park Coast Guard load 71 degrees. Chester Preservation 30%. Thursday, Chester Shards and Thunderstorms, Park Coast Guard had 86 degrees. Chester Preservation 30%. Thursday night, Chester Shards and Thunderstorms, Park Coast Guard load 67 degrees. Chester Preservation 40%. It depends today. Chester Shards, Punt of South Carolina, 81 degrees. Chester Preservation, 30%. Friday night, Punt of South load 59 degrees. For Saturday, most of South Carolina, 80 degrees. Peters, what a phrase of the day. A beautiful night of tap. The Peter Channel News Top 512. And it shows traffic situation. Everything is smooth sailing on highways and byways. Except we got. One twenty on the west. One twenty-eight south accident on Route One Forty to the North Shore Mall. So try to save some extra time, okay? And you're back on the south side of One Twenty from Peabody all the way down to the nice and one in Beverly. So try to save some extra time and patience to go to that area, okay? Because it's all backed up there. And Route Three South a little slow from Weymouth down to Derby Street and Higgins Bridge. So try to be. Patient runners, you're good to go. And 146 South. An accident there. And Lincoln. So a little slow around the Lincoln stretch of 146 here to 123. And Mass Pike got the odd rep from Mass Pike to 495. A little slow due to a lot of motorists at the tolls there. And of ours, 3935 below 5 for 120 to the New Hampshire border. And 495 is good to go from 128 from 95 in Amesbury to Wareham here. And the Southeast Expressway, a little slow around the Dorchester section here, near Morsey Boulevard to the guest tape. And we got an accident here. And we got 9524 Mullah 5 for 128 to the Red Island border here. 93 Boston Highways and Mullah 5. Mass Pack Mullah 5 from South Boston to Surbridge. And 93 Mullah 5 from Ready to Fit Break Tree, including Boston here. And 128 over as Mullah 5 from Gloucester to Fit Break Tree. And the Red Island Highways are dual on fire to the Cape Highways are dual fire, except for the little accident here. Route 6 on the westbound side. An accident on the westbound side after you pass 134 Dennis. All right, it's a good day. This is PJ. We see you have a good day. What a good positive day to see you right after the Red Sox, Yankees, and the Sports Roundup for the late night weather magician report. Stay tuned.